So hello, again, my name is Shannon, and today we'll be doing a 60-minute Cinco de Mayo-inspired vinyasa flow. Um, so I'll explain what that means as we warm up a bit. Uh, so you can come to Supadakasana, not Supadakasana, Badakanasana, butterfly pose, bringing the soles of the feet together. Maybe they're closer in, maybe they're further out, whatever feels good. If this doesn't feel good, option to just take a normal seat, just try to switch the cross in your legs about a couple breaths in. <sighs> so we'll get settled here in butterfly pose, Badakanasana. You can grab your knees, your shins, your feet. Just try to sit up nice and tall, whatever feels good. And we'll get into the breath here. Taking a few rounds just to make any observations. How are you coming to this space? How are you coming to your mat in this moment? Not judging, just observing. I encourage you to close your eyes or just gaze gently at the screen. Let me get more than enough screen time so if you can give your eyes a little bit of a break, please do so. Today, as I said, since yesterday, by the time I'm filming this, was Cinco de Mayo. Uh, we'll be doing a Cinco de Mayo inspired flow. So, what that means is for those of you who don't know the history um, i'm sure you've heard at least part of it is that single de mayo is not mexico's independence day which is september 16th but is actually the day that the mexican army won against napoleon iii's army at the battle of puebla in 1862. so this was even though they eventually lost the mexican franco war and were briefly occupied by um France. This was a significant victory uh, for the Mexican army. So today I want to honor that history, honor that struggle, honor that fight, our Mexican heritage and culture. And so we'll be moving throughout the flow into eagle pose, Arudasana, uh, which is the national bird of Mexico. It's on the flag. And yeah, so that's where we're going today. As always, lots of variations to get into the pose and adjust the pose so that it serves your body. Let's take one more round of breath, let that little history lesson sink in. Big sigh out. <sighs> Maybe on your next inhale, sit up a little bit taller and we'll get into the neck. On the exhale, drop right ear to right shoulder. Take that for a second. I slept on my neck wrong last night, so this feels really good. On the exhale, draw your chin into your chest. Let it hang there for a moment. And then bring left ear to the left shoulder. And then maybe you find a little bit more dynamic movement, moving a little quicker. Maybe do a full circle. Again, my neck feels a little impinged, so I'm just moving a little bit slower here today. One more round of breath. And then find stillness, find center, inhale, sit up through the sit bones. And then using your hands to pull yourself forward on the exhale, lean over your legs. Nice hip stretch here. You can keep your eyes closed. I encourage you to keep them there. Eagle is a lot in the hips, so that's why we're getting into them. Take one more round of breath. Exhale it out. And then slowly sit back up. Maybe lean from side to side or rock around. Take one to two more rounds of breath to do what you need. Now rotate to face the top of my mat. If you're not there, rotate as well. And then find stillness. We'll be moving on to our backs towards happy baby pose. So if you just want to lie on flat, go for it. Otherwise, take your thumb and your index finger, wrap your big toes, and you can roll right on back into Ananda Balasa. Knees are bending in towards the armpit, soles of the feet towards the sky. Maybe you rock back and forth here. Take 
one more round of breath if you've been sitting all day. Definitely need to stretch out the hips. And then as you're ready on the exhale, draw both knees in together. Take a second there. Maybe you're off the ramp just a little bit more. And then find stillness on the exhale. And slowly come to a T. And inhale, reach your legs into the sky. Maybe you take some ankle rolls. Maybe you wiggle your toes a bit, kind of stretch that out. And then find stillness. On the inhale, slowly open your legs into a V. And then crossing right over left exhale, bring them back to center and slight crossing the right in front of the left. Inhale, open the legs. And exhale, left leg crosses over right. Inhale, open. And exhale, cross. And this time, stay here. And then maybe begin to bend the knee. So it looks like pigeon pose. If this doesn't serve, you can go into your reclined pigeon by bringing the ankle over the left knee. Or try to remove all the space between your knees. Maybe you move your right calf out of the way. And maybe you reach for your ankles or shins wherever is available to you. Take another moment here. Slowly release the grip, hands come back to the G. And inhale, open the legs back towards their V and taking it to the other side. Exhale, again, finding or climbing pigeon or moving your calf out of the way if you need, crossing both legs and reaching while your ankles or shit. Or feet. Let's take one more round of breath here. And then hands come to a T last time. Inhale, open to a V. Exhale, right crosses over left. And this time, either find that same cross or pigeon, or maybe we're going to find eagle in the left, like crossing your right foot under and around your left half. So whatever you have in the legs, whatever serves you, here, here, or here, find that. So if you're working towards eagle pose, this is a great way to start getting into the legs. We'll add a little bit of core work here. On the exhale, gently start to bring your feet towards the mat, at the mat, and bring your knees back in. Two more times. Exhale, dip. Try to keep your low back on the mat. It will really fight to arch up. Bring your knees back in. And then dip. Exhale. And bring it back in. Inhale, unwind. Open to a beat. The last side here. Exhale, left crosses over. Right. Find eagle pose in the legs or find whatever serves you. And three reverse crunches. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Inhale, bring it back to your center. Slowly unwind back to a V. And knees to chest. Exhale, hug it in. We're going to roll onto our knees. If you know your body doesn't like that, just come onto your knees or into a seat. Otherwise, grab right below your kneecaps and then shoot your legs a little up and back to start to rock your way forward all the way on to your knees. Might have to adjust it a little bit on your mat. <sighs> Coming into Thunderbolt Pose, hips on heels. If that's too much, you can always bring a block between your legs underneath your sit bone, if that feels good. So take a second. Settle in, find what serves your body, or just a regular seat. And then as you inhale, arms sweep up towards the sky, interlace your fingers, and then on your next inhale, push your palms towards the ceiling. One more round of breath. Check your posture. I come clean back to my seat. So nice and straight. And then on the next exhale, lean it over towards the right. Inhale the lift. And exhale to lean towards the left. Inhale the lift. 
Yes. Inhale one more time. And the left to lateral extension. Inhale back to center. Exhale, let your hands come to a T. Hover them there. And then on your next inhale, open your arms just a little bit wider. Try to open from the chest more than the low back. And exhale, cross right arm over left. Give yourself a little hug if you hold it in. Inhale, that open. And exhale, left crosses over right. Give yourself a hug. Inhale, open. And exhale, right crosses over left. This time, stay here in your hug. And then maybe you just bring your elbows to center. Or if you know eagle works in the arms, you can bend both elbows. You're bringing the forearms together and then find your bar. Whatever serves you. On your next inhale, lift the elbows into the sky. And exhale, tuck them into the sky. Once more, inhale, elbows and arms lift, maybe gates up. Exhale, elbows draw in. Inhale to lift. And last time, exhale. Inhale back to center. And exhale, slowly unwind. Inhale here, open a little bit further and taking it to the other side. Exhale, cross. Again, stay here in the hug. Maybe you just come to center or maybe you bend your elbows to find Baradasana. Wherever you're at. Next, inhale, lift. And exhale, fold. Twice more on your own breath. Inhale, brings you back through center. Exhale, unwind. And let your hands come all the way down to the side. Inhale, last lift here, and then exhale, bring it to tabletop. Hands come to the mat underneath your shoulders, and maybe you need to shift your knees back to the underneath your hips. Tuck your tailbone slightly so that your back is flat if you're already feeling it arching. Get a nice, long, flat back. One more round of breath. Exhale, side up. Round down in the left knee. In the right hand, and on the inhale, begin to shoot your right leg back behind you. Take a moment here. And then on the next exhale, draw knee to nose underneath, arch in your back. Twice more. Inhale, extend. And exhale, tuck. Last time, inhale, extend. And this time on the exhale, tuck it all the way up enough to cross your ankle, your right ankle, over your left knee. If this doesn't serve you, you can keep your knee lifted, you can drop it, you can find some type of cross, or you can come to a recline or seated pit. Wherever you're at, if you're in the tabletop with the four square legs, on the exhale, begin to sit your hips back, and inhale, rock, and then walk. Exhale. And inhale and exhale stay and lean off towards the left of it and if you feel that in your body I invite you to bring your hands out beside you so that you can square your hips off just a little bit more so either you're here or if this doesn't serve you you can be anywhere along that journey or you can be more in a seated or a climb pigeon pose. Whatever serves you, one more round of breath. And we'll meet back in tabletop. On the inhale, slowly, if you're in the seated four square legs, rock it forward. Exhale, unwind, bring it back to tabletop. Fire monoxide. Maybe shake it up, and then we'll move to the other side. Ground down in the right knee. Inhale, left leg now, stand behind you. Take a second, try to find your flat back. And then exhale, tuck it up underneath the knee to those. Life's smart. Inhale, extend. Then exhale, draw it in. Inhale, extend. And exhale, draw it in. And maybe cross 
the left ankle over right knee, or come to a seat and find four square legs seated. If you're with me in tabletop, exhale, move the hips back, and inhale, rock them forward. Twice more, exhale, sit back. Inhale, rock forward, and exhale, sit back and settle. Again, I'm really shifting off towards the right. I'm going to bring my hands beside me to square my hips off a little bit more towards the back. Take one more round of breath here. And then as you're ready, slowly make your way back to tabletop. On the inhale, shift it back forward, and exhale, unwind. Everyone will meet in tabletop. Take one more moment, maybe sway from side to side, or if you want to do a cow and cat, you can. Last round of breath, and then we'll begin the flow. As we ready, ground down. In all ten fingers, really pressing each finger pad into the mat. Inhale, tuck your toes. And on the exhale, lift your hips. Then send them back and adjust into your first downward facing dog of the quads. So if you'd like to lock your feet out, kneading the mat a bit, you can. Otherwise, you can find stillness. We'll take one more round of breath here before finding a little movement. Exhale. And then as you're ready, shifting your weight forward into a plank forward, tabletop. Inhale, slowly rock it all the way forward. Stay here. And then on the exhale, drop your knees. Bend your elbows, keeping them nice and close towards the ribcage as you drop your chest. Hips stay lifted. And then slither onto your stomach. Roll the shoulders back. Elbows really draw towards the back of the foot. And on the inhale, lift your chest for baby Bhujan Dasana. Cool. Take one more round of breath. And then tuck the toes. And on the exhale, lift it up and back. Downward facing. We'll do that two more times. A little bit quicker. Inhale, find your plank. Exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows, drop the chest, slither forward, inhale, baby cobra, and exhale, out of the spinata. Once more, inhale, shift it forward, exhale, inhale, and exhale, we'll meet back in downward facing. So from here on out, I'll be doing that vinyasa in reverse. So if you want to just do your normal vinyasa, do what we just did. Otherwise, for the rest of the class, I'll cue it in reverse. One more round of breath. Exhale, side out. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, gaze forward, and step forward off to the top of your mat. Uttanasana, forward fold. On the inhale, halfway lift. And on the exhale, hold here and stay. We'll also be doing a lot of chair poses, and if you're not feeling that, feel free to stay here or stay in a forward fold and get a nice juicy hamstring stretch. One more round of breath. And then if you're with me, exhale, sit the hips down, and then we'll reach the hands towards the side to find feet of asana. Take one more round of breath. Like an option to stay in your halfway lift or forward fold. Exhale the breath out. And inhale, everyone reach up towards the sky. And exhale, hands come down by your side. Tadasana, man, pose. <sighs> Take a round of breath. Sigh up. Slowly find balance in your feet, whatever that means to you. And we'll warm up our toes a little bit. As you're ready, on the inhale, arms reach towards the sky, and lift the heels. Exhale, bring it down. Twice more, inhale, lift. Nice active core. Exhale, down. The last time, inhale, lift. And hold here. Shoulders away from you. 
crown of the head is moving in the opposite direction of your feet. Take a if you're lengthening. One more round of breath. And take it back to mountain pose. Release and exhale. Inhale, arms sweep towards the sky. And either forward fold or sit it down to chair pose. Exhale into the pose. If you're in the forward fold, still do the same thing that we'll do with the heels. Exhale, prepare. And then on the inhale, wherever you're at, lift the right heel off the mat. And exhale, set it down. If this is too much in the arms, you can bring them to prayer as well. Inhale, lift the left. And exhale down twice more each side. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, left. Exhale down. Last time, right side. And left side. Last inhale. And fold it towards the earth. Exhale, release. Inhale, halfway lift. Flat back, arm Konasana. And exhale, bend the knees enough to plant your hands and step just the left foot back. Drop the left knee to the mat. And as you're ready, inhale, rise up into low lunge. You can keep your back toes tucked or up, whatever you want. Take one more of a breath. And as you're ready, interlace your fingers and push your palms towards the sky. Inhale here and lean it to the right. Exhale. Inhale up. Just one time each side. Exhale to the left. Inhale lift. And this time, bend your left elbow so that your left hand comes to the top of your shoulders in the back. And either grab your right elbow, I mean your left elbow with your right hand, or if you know the bind is in your practice, go there. Otherwise, I will do it a little bit later. I'll do that on this bit. Let's take one more round of breath here. If you're feeling this a lot in the legs, push into your hip to release a little bit of the hamstring. Exhale. Last inhale here. And then on the exhale, without compromising what you have in the shoulders, lean over your front leg, grounding down in the front heel, not the toes. And then hold push into the heel to lift back straight. Exhale the lean. And then inhale the lift. Last time, exhale. And then inhale. Exhale, release the hands down to the side. Inhale, they lift back up to the sky. And exhale, hands frame your foot, tuck your back toes. We'll take it to downward facing dog. Exhale, step both feet to the back. Take a round of breath. Exhale, Ground down in the right foot. As you inhale, the left leg reaches up towards the sky. And then bend the knee. And let you find scorpion in your downward facing dog. Take a round of breath here. Maybe you want to find some movement in your hip. If that feels good to you, just try to stay square in the shoulders. Take one more round of breath. And then we'll be moving from our plank to knee to nose directly back to scorpion three-legged dog. So as you're ready on the exhale, shift your weight forward to a plank, knee to nose. And then he'll send it all the way back. Place more. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. Last time, bring it forward. Exhale, step your foot all the way through. And drop the back knee to the mat. And then inhale, rise up. Anjani Asana, the lunge. Ah, recalibrate. And as you're ready, interlace your fingers, palms reach towards the sky. And on the next exhale, lean it towards the left. Inhale the left. And exhale, take it with the right. Inhale the left. And then taking it to the other side, exhale, bend your right elbow. And reach with your left hand to guide back, getting a nice tricep stretch. One more on the breath. 
Put an arm journey on the exhale. Hinge forward. Bend down to the front heel. And inhale, lift. Maybe we even lift to the front toes. Exhale, lean. And inhale, lift. Last time, exhale, lean. And inhale, lift. Release the arms, exhale. Inhale, arms sweep up towards the sky. And exhale, hands frame your front foot, and we'll take it to the top of our mat, stepping our feet together. Exhale, Uttanasana forward. As you're ready, on the inhale, halfway lift, our Uttanasana. And finding a chair pose, exhale, sit the hips back. Bring the arms up front or to your chest. Option if your feet are slightly apart, you can walk your big toes in so that they're touching. And this time we'll lift both heels off the mat. So as you're ready, on the inhale, lift heels. And exhale, set them down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down, find the spot on the floor and stare at it. Inhale, lift. Hold for a round of breath. Keep the stomach in, finding a manga. And exhale, release so everything back down towards the middle. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, plant your hands, and step the right foot back, dropping the back knee down, coming back onto low lunge on the left side. Inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale. Inhale here. And exhale, hands come to our T. Adding our eagle arms in. Inhale, open, maybe gaze up. And crossing right over left. Exhale, give yourself a hug. Stay with your arms crossed on the inhale, straight in the spine. And either stay here or find your eagle arms. There we are. Next, inhale, lift. And next, exhale, draw. Twice more. Inhale to lift. And exhale to draw in. Inhale to lift. Exhale to draw in. Inhale to lift. Exhale, release the arms. Inhale, arms sweep up towards the sky. Exhale, hands come to the mat. Frame your foot top, your back toes, and find your way to downward facing dog. Take a second here. And now we'll be moving through the vinyasa in kind of reverse. So either just go do your normal vinyasa as you're ready on the inhale, lift the heels. And then exhale, bend your knees to the mat right where they're at. Bend your elbows on the exhale and shoot your stomach towards the mat as you slither and then inhale, push with your hands to lift entirely your rising cobra. Tuck your back toes and exhale, downward facing dog. Twice more. Inhale, cut. Exhale, bend. Slither on forward. Inhale, torso lifts. And exhale, hips lift and shoot back. Last time, inhale, cut. Exhale, slither. Inhale, rise. And exhale, we'll meet. And downward facing the up. Ground down in the left foot. This time, right leg lifts up into the sky and bend the knee to find your scorpion leg. Three thought of Adam with this foot. Three legged downward facing the <sighs> One more out of that. Maybe, maybe you find some movement if it feels good. On the next exhale, find stillness and then draw. Knee to nose, exhale. Option to drop the back knee as you do this. Into the table. Up. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Square shoulders, exhale. The last time, inhale. And exhale, draw it all the way underneath. Step your right foot through, drop your left knee, and rise up low onto the asana. Shoulders melt away from yours. <sighs> Let your hands come to a T. Inhale, open the chest. Left crosses over right. Give yourself a hug. Straighten the spine and stay here or find the eagle arms. 
Bend forward. Axel drop. In. Bend forward. Axel draw in. Bend forward. Axel draw in. And hold lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, arms lift. And exhale, hands come to the mat. Bring your foot up your back toe. Step in and up to forward fold. Exhale, we'll meet in Uttanasana. That's your breath. One more round. As you're ready, inhale, halfway lift. And find chair pose. Exhale, sit the hips down. Arms shoot up and tail. Walk your big toes together if they're not already there. One more round of breath. And exhale, hands come to prayer in heart center. Take a second. And then we'll twist towards the right. On the exhale, twist the outside of the left elbow towards the outside of the right knee. Once you're here, actively press into your hands and arms and into your knee. So that you really twist gaze over your right shoulder. Take one more round of breath and bite the shaking. Coming back to chair pose, nice and square. Exhale. Inhale, arms shoot up, and then you stand, and then exhale. Release. Catch your breath. We'll do the left. Side the other time around. Sure, then. Starting to play with balance a bit. I'll face you on this part, but you can stay facing the top of your mat. Now, as you ready, roll the shoulders back and down, ground down in the left foot. And as you're ready, on the inhale, right knee lifts up into the sky with the arms. Option to stay here. Or option, begin to cross your ankle over your left knee. Maybe your arms stay up. Or maybe they come part center. Maybe you stay here. Or maybe you begin to bend into your standing leg. So you can sit your hips down, coming into four square legs. Invite the shaking. Try to release some of the grip, not all of it in your foot, but not so you're like clenching with your life, right? But just nice, steady, solid grip. One more round of breath. And then lift it up on the inhale with control. And exhale, set it down. And we'll take it to the other side. So as you ground down on the right foot, inhale left and knee lifts up. Option to stay here too, and just work on holding this. Or option to cross ankle over knee. Option here. Or option sit it down. And gaze at this spot about a foot in front of you on the floor to help you balance. Arms can be extended or at heart center. Take one more round of breath. And then with control, inhale, lift it back up. And then exhale, release. Side out. And then we have one more flow sequence before we really get into our eagle pose. Exhale, side up. Let something go. Whether you can do that pose, quote unquote, or not. Just let it go and we'll continue. Inhale, lift up towards the sky, find each chair pose. Exhale, sit the hips back. One more round of breath. Hands come to prayer. Exhale. Inhale, and we'll twist towards the left this time. Exhale, right elbow hooks to the outside of left knee. Actively press into your hands. We'll feel your chest open a little bit more. Look over your left shoulder. One more round of breath. On the exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale, arms reach. And exhale, release, fold, Uttanasana, maybe shake it out. Take one more round of breath. Once you're ready, I'm going to inhale halfway lift. 
Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands and step the left foot back. Stay high on the back toes and rise up to high crescent lunge. If you want to walk your feet further out or further in for balance, find your center. And we'll do what we did with our knee to the mat. So option always to drop the knee to the mat. Bring your fingers together, inhale, push your palms up towards the sky, then lean it towards the right. Exhale. A bit bigger of a balance challenge here. On the inhale, bring it up. Take it to the other side. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left tricep stretch, left elbow bends, and you can find the grab right this way. Maybe you bring your right hand down, turning the palm towards the back of the room so that you can bend your elbow and find a bind in the arms behind you. One more round of breath to find what serves you in the arms and shoulders, and then we'll hinge it forward as ready on the X angle. Inhale and lift, and exhale the Try to ground down the heel more than the toes. Last time, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, lift, exhale, release what you have in the arms. Inhale, arms sweep up, and exhale, hands bring your foot. Find downward facing dog. Exhale. Catch your breath. We'll be moving through the reverse vinyasa again with a, another step or another modification, I should say, a little more challenging modification. So again, you do what serves you. Otherwise, as you're this time on your prep, inhale, lift the heels, and we're not going to drop the knees to the mat. So bend your elbows 90 degrees, exhale, shoot your chest down, your hips are lifting, untuck your toes, and inhale, lift all the way up to upward facing down. And exhale, down Whatever vinyasa you want, we'll do it two more times. If you're with me, inhale, prep. Exhale, bend the elbows to drop the chest towards the mat, and then untuck your toes as you lift up. Bend the word the Mukhasvanasana, and use your core to pull you back on Mukhasvanasana. Once more, exhale, inhale. And exhale. Take okay, around the breath. Turn on the right foot. Inhale, left leg lifts up. And bend, scorpion leg your dog. This time we'll take the knee to the opposite elbow. So towards the right elbow. One more round of breath. And exhale, shift forward into a plank as you bring your knee underneath you. And maybe kiss your right elbow, and then inhale, extend it back. Twice more, exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Inhale, lift back up. And very last time, this time on the exhale, bring your knee, and then cross your ankle over your right knee, and push and shift your hips back towards a four square, Legged downward facing dog. <sighs> I know this is a lot in the shoulders and right and shaking. One more out of breath. <sighs> now, as you're ready, shift the back forward into a plank on the inhale and drop your knees to the mat on the exhale. <sighs> inhale and then. So begin to shift your hips back. We're going to get into cow face pose, Bomukhasana. Again, option to come into sitting pigeon if this doesn't work. Inhale, shift forward. And exhale, sit back. Inhale, rock forward. And sitting all the way down into something that serves you in the legs. Exhale. You might need to move your left calf out of the way to find a nice seat. So come into the golden costume. <sighs> Release the tension in the shoulders and the arms and the hands. Mm. 
And as you really inhale, arms reach up. Right elbow bends this time. And maybe you find the tricep stretch here. Or maybe you reach the left hand down and around, turning the palm towards the back of the room so that you can bring it behind you and find the full cow face on. So again, if this isn't serving you, you can cross your ankle over and sit back like this in a seated pigeon pose. So it is into the hips. One more round of breath. If you have the bind in the arms, gently release it on the next exhale. Inhale, arms lift up. And exhale, hands come to the mat. Maybe give yourself a little push forward. Come back towards the tabletop with your cow face legs. And coming back to plank, ground down in the hands. Lift the knees off of the mat. And then exhale, step the left foot all the way through to come into high lunge on the other side. Inhale, arms sweep up. And adjust your balance, your posture. You should be able to kind of see your front big toe. So if your knee is leaning in or leaning too far out, try to find 90 degrees. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, lean it towards the left. And hold it. That's so lean it towards the right. And hold it. Getting a nice right tricep stretch, two in a row. Bend the right elbow and maybe find your body. We'll do the other side the other way. Either stay here or on your next exhale, finding our hinge. Exhale, reach forward. Push into the heel to lift and inhale. Maybe you lift your front toes. Exhale. And then inhale. Try not to compromise what you have in the upper body. Just lean as far as you can. Inhale. Lift. Release what you have in the arms. Exhale. Inhale. Arms sweep up. And exhale. Hands frame your feet. Stepping it forward. Exhale. We turn off to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring the big toes together. Exhale, chair pose, sit it down. Arms reach towards the sky on the inhale. On your next exhale, stay in chair. Just swing your arms down and around. Or down and back, I should say. Inhale, reach them back forward up. Exhale, swing the hands down and back. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Last reach forward, inhale, and fold it towards the earth. Exhale, release. Catch your breath. We'll be coming back to a lunge on the left side. Halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale, bend the knees enough to plant the hands. Step the right foot back. Inhale, rise up. High arms in the asana on the left side again. One more round of breath. Exhale, hands come to a T. Crossing right over left. Exhale, find a hug for your Garudasana arms. Wherever you're at. Inhale, lift. And exhale, bring it in. Inhale, lift with control. If you lose your balance, it's okay. Last time, inhale, option to drop the back knee, always. Exhale, come through center, inhale, T arms, exhale, unwind. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, hands come to the mat, downward facing dog, step the feet back. Choose your vinyasa flow for three times. I'll cue the tricep burn. As we inhale, lift the heels, and exhale, drop the chest, untuck the toes, inhale, lift, and exhale, downward facing dog. Twice more, I won't cue anything so you find your flow in relative silence.
from your arm in, bring down the right facing dog, bottom of the front. Watch your breath. And then ground down in the left foot. Inhale the right, leg reaches into the sky and opens and bends. So again, crossing knee, the opposite elbow, as ready. Exhale, shift your right forward to the plank. The right knee kisses left elbow and open back up. And exhale again. And then inhale, forward again. And exhale, grace the elbow. Inhale. And last time, exhale. Drop your knees to the mat or come to a seat. Release. Inhale, over. Exhale, shift the back, closing the gap between your knees. Inhale, rock forward, easing into this. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, sitting it all the way back. Maybe you need to tuck your right calf out of the way. Take a second. Finding Gomukasana or Seated Pigeon. As ready, arms are reaching to the sky. Inhale. And this time bend the left elbow. And maybe reach for your bind if that serves you. Stay here for three rounds of breath. I'm going to close the bonds a bit. It's one more round of breath. If you have the bind, exhale slowly or Inhale, arms will lift up and meet back towards tabletop. Exhale. Take a second, adjust. And as you're ready, tuck your toes on the inhale, lift your knees off the mat. And I forgot that we forgot to do four square legs on this side. So we'll do it now. Cross the right ankle over left knee and push and shift your hips back towards a four square legged downward facing dog. One more round of breath. And then as you're ready, shift your right board, step your right foot through, and inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, settle. One more round of breath. Your right leg should be first. In front. Exhale, hands come to a T. Left crosses over right. Exhale, find the club or eagle arms. Inhale, lift. And exhale, draw in. Inhale to lift. Exhale to draw in. Inhale lift. Last time. Exhale. Inhale center. Exhale eagle or unwind the eagle arms. Inhale arms reach up. And exhale hands come to the mat. Step both feet together. Exhale Uttanasana forward. Mm. On the inhale, halfway lift. Last chair pose, I promise. Exhale, sit the hips down, arms reach towards the sky. One round of breath. And then on the exhale, swing your hands back and down. And then maybe you stay here, or maybe on your next inhale, you begin to lift the heels. Kind of combining everything we've done in our chair pose. I've once heard this called bird drinking raindrops. I like the imagery. One more round of breath. Drop the heels with control on the exhale. And inhale, everyone stand it up for the hasasana upward slope, reach towards the sky. And exhale, hands down. That's your breath. Moving fully into equal pose now. You can do the four square legs 
as an option if you don't want to move into full eagle. Otherwise, I'll cue full barbie dust. So that's ready to ground on the left foot. Ankle, right knee lifts up. And again, either find your four square legs, or as you bend your left knee, you begin to cross your right knee over your left. And maybe you hook the right foot around your left calf like you did on the ground. Option to stay here. For an eagle pose, you cross whatever knee is on top, you cross the opposite arm on top. So it will be the left arm on top. So let your hands come out to a T, fly like an eagle. Exo left arm crosses over the right. And find the full expression of the pose. Hold it for one more round of breath. As you're ready, slowly exhale and line and fly your arms up. Inhale to reach it up, standing step. Exhale, bring it down to control. Take it to the other side. Ground down in the right foot. Inhale, left knee lifts up. And again, four square legs. Or as you bend your right knee, wrap your left foot around. Press the left foot to your right. Exhale, hands to the T. Right arm crosses over left. And find Barry Lawson. Read your arms with breath. On the exhale, slow down long. Inhale, lift, standing stack with control. And exhale, release. Take a moment, maybe your hands stay at heart center, maybe they come down to your side. Take any observations. Both sides feel differently in that pose. Make an observation if they felt different, maybe not necessarily was better or worse or easier or harder. So notice the difference in your body. There's a million and one ways for our bodies not to be perfectly asymmetrical. Again, moving into eagle pose as the national bird of Mexico to honor the history of Cinco de Mayo and the Battle of Puebla. One more round of breath before we take it. Mm. I'll sit down by going through chair pose. If that doesn't serve you, just find your way to the seat. Inhale, arms circle up. Sit to chair pose, Utkatasana. And then maybe a little further down. And then maybe a little further down and a little further until you're all the way on your bum. And then maybe you scoot it back so that you can stretch your legs out nice and straight. So nice and tall on the inhale, arms reach back up. And exhale, reach for your feet, Pashkimotanasana. A seated forward fold. <sighs> we did a lot of crossing of the legs and crunching of the legs, and so let's take a little moment here to have me straight. Last round of breath. Let the head hang, maybe sink just a little bit deeper on the exhale. And then slowly release on the inhale, straighten the torso. We'll be moving on to our backs. Inhale, arms reach up. We'll use our core to get there. I'm going to scoot myself forward so I don't fall off the top of my mat. Exhale, use your arms as a counterbalance to lower partially. Inhale it right here. Exhale, lower just a little bit more. Inhale and hold. Exhale a little bit more. See if we can't do two more times. Exhale almost to the mat. Inhale and hold. Exhale maybe almost to the mat. And exhale. Settle it down. Arms come out to the side. Release. 
Nice big breath. Take one more for our final little twist. Or you can stay in Shavasana if you are 100% just ready to let the body incorporate it. Otherwise, if you're still with me on the next exhale, bring the right knee in. And we can take a supine twist from here, but again, since we did so much crunching and bending of the legs, if it serves your body to straighten your leg, I invite you to go there. Maybe you grab your big toe. Maybe your right hand comes out to a T. Wherever you're at, cross the right leg, bend or straight over towards the left side, and maybe gaze over your right shoulder. The nice full back stretch, this nice little twist. All those chair poses and plank poses and downward facing dogs use a lot of our back muscles today. And your little back guest is part of your core. At the end of the exhale, if you need is straight, bend it so there's less pressure and bring it back to the center. And we'll switch, exhale. Give an option to keep the knee bent. Or maybe you straighten the leg and use your left hand as a T. Bring your left leg towards the right. Last round of breath. On the exhale, bend your knee to draw back in. And then let both legs come out nice and long. And settle into Shavasana. If you want more in the hips still, you can come into Stoop to Bhattakonasana. That's almost what I said at the beginning of class. Go to climb to butterfly. Oh, supta, like supine, or fine. I'm a nerd for etymology, so I love when words have similar roots across different languages. Well, you can place your hand on your heart and one on your stomach if it serves you as well. Let's just take a moment here to set an intention. If it serves you to think of this little prompt, the uh, Battle of Puebla, which was on Cinco de Mayo, um, it, it was a a win against all odds. The Mexican army was greatly outnumbered at this time, and in spite of that, still managed to defeat the French army in this particular battle. And so, maybe think of something, what's a challenge in your life right now that seems insurmountable? Or maybe you're just really struggling with something? And Maybe here's a moment to give yourself a little pep talk. Just you know that you can do it, that you're strong, that you are capable. Honoring Mexico's fight for independence. It was already a sovereign country and fighting off colonialism and invasion. Where could you where could you need a little bit more strength? That comes from yourself. Take three more rounds of breath. Last breath on the exhale side out. And maybe you're in. Butterfly pose, you can bring your knees together. 
Or then you begin to wiggle your toes and fingers. Maybe come onto your side or roll up. You can also stay in Shavasana. You can make your way to how you want to close out class. Hands can be on your knees or come to heart center, your third eye space. Thank you for letting me be a part of your practice. It truly is an honor and a joy. I hope you enjoyed the little bit of history lesson mixed in with your yoga today. Uh, I lived in Mexico for a few months, and it's a place that means a lot to me. So it's fun to be able to celebrate, even though I'm now currently in the United States. La luz al dentro de mí, ama la luz al dentro de ti. The light in me loves the light in you. Feliz single de mayo, and namaste.